brought to you by Tucson Appliance and Furniture Company. Good morning. Welcome to your Monday. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of thunderstorms and lightning, and we are not done yet. 52 outside at the airport right now. We can see a little bit of a lull. This is looking east towards the Rincons, but again, we anticipate a lot more. Here's a look at your uh, kind of rain chances when it comes to percentages throughout of the day. Going to go right back up. Uh, even if we get a little bit of a break through 9 or 10 o'clock this morning, we're going to see it going right back up throughout not only late morning, but early afternoon. And then it looks like we'll hold on to a good 60 to 70 70% chance for more late into the day. So we're really not done yet by any means. So keep that umbrella handy. We will see breaks at times, but those breaks probably won't last very long. So any highs we see of the day will stay in the 50s and will likely happen before noon. So there it is. It's really the far southeast section of the state that's going to see the bulk of this rain. A little spotty up near Casa Grande and Gila Bend, and we're starting to see it push back into parts of western Pima County. But the heavier, more widespread rain and the thunderstorms that are embedded in these systems will be mostly to the southeast. So from central Pima County east, Tucson east into Cochise County, Graham and Greenlee County, and already seen a little bit of that wintry mix uh, across the highest elevations. Here it is really stretching from old Tucson down into Sorita Green Valley east into parts of Tanca Verde and even the old Spanish Trail Road out east way east is seeing some pretty heavy rain as we speak. We do have a couple of flood advisories, Tucson included. This is the area that you're seeing in the green box until 8 a.m those portions of Pima and Pinal and then you take the areas that you see there in blue and that's the winter weather advisory above 7,000 feet. We could see anywhere as much as 11 inches by 5 o'clock as our snow levels begin to drop and then these areas out west in parts of Avondale, Buckeye and Goodyear are under that dense fog advisory till 8 a.m. We get into 10 a.m. still heavy rain. We get into 1 2 o'clock still heavy rain but now snow levels dropping and it could easily be 5 6 o'clock tonight before we start really seeing this break up. So we do anticipate not only more heavy rain, but even more thunderstorm activity throughout the afternoon. Keep that in mind, especially if you're going to be traveling on the interstate this morning. Make sure you allow lots of extra time. When it comes to totals, this is in addition to what we've already seen. So we expect anywhere from a tenth to as much as half an inch of rain in most locations across the southeast. So we'll see about 57 before noon, and then our rain cooled air will continue to take our temps down. But we will, although starting the day very chilly tomorrow, we'll rebound back to the mid 60s. That 65. Pretty close to where we should be, but high pressure will take us right back into the 70s just in time for your weekend. Let's get a look at those wet.